Hello and welcome again. Uh, last time we uh, talked about the key schedule for the 128-bit uh, key. Um, and remember that the uh, advanced encryption standard has uh, three possible uh, key uh, lengths. So we need to talk about the 198-bit key uh, length and the other one that we will discuss in a few minutes. Now, uh, the key schedule for the 198-bit key for the advanced encryption standard uh, it's quite similar to the schedule for the 128 bit here. What's gonna ha uh, what's gonna change is a little bit of the diagram of that we saw last time. We're still gonna use the the function uh, g, which is exactly the same as before, as as I explained before. So let's 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 go into the details now. So the the advanced encryption standard when you have not 198 bit key, remember that. The key length determines the number of rounds. And when you have a 198-bit key, then it has 12 rounds. Now, remember also that the number of sub-keys is always equal to the number of rounds plus one because uh, remember the first round of the advanced encryption standard uh, takes two sub-keys. So in this case, because I have 12 rounds, I will need 13 sub-keys and each one of them will be of 128 bits. So it doesn't matter how long is your key, your sub keys will all of them have 128 bit each. So we need to produce 13 sub keys of 128 bit each. Now the diagram that I'm gonna show you right now is just the first um, round, let's call it like that, the first round of the key schedule. So this is, the, uh, this is how it looks like. Now, if you compare this to what we uh, saw for the other schedule, 128 bit, is very, it's really quite similar. So you have a same situation going on here. You have some sword over here. Of course, you have more because now the key length of the original key is a lot longer. You still have the function G there, and I'm gonna explain a little bit what happens there. So, so here, this part that I'm marking down here with the arrow, and which is here with this. Uh, kind of green uh, rectangle is the original key, which is 120, 192-bit uh, length. So it's all of this. Now the keys there mean exactly the same as what they mean in the previous key schedule. The keys here is, are the bytes or 8 bits. So what, what I'm, we're really doing is we're dividing the whole 198-bit key 192-bit into bytes. And because I have not one, let's look at here, I have 192, I divided into bytes or eight bits. So I'm gonna have a total of 24 bytes. And if you count, this is K0 all the way through K23, that's 24 bytes. So what I'm doing here is I'm divided the original key into bytes and I have a total of 24 bytes. Now, this 32 that you see here is exactly the same as we saw before. You're going to take groups of four bytes for all the original key, groups of four bytes. Now, those four bytes that are there, of course, they form a 32-bit uh, uh, block. And the first subkey is W0, W1, W3, W2, and W3. Now, these last subkeys will these last blocks that are here will be part of the next sub key. But let's let's talk about that later. So the process is like this. You start with the original uh, key, which is 192 bit long, divided into blocks of, of bytes, and then again into 32 bit blocks there. And so these guys that are here, W0 all the way through W5, is exactly the same as this one over here. So you just copy down this block here, this four block of bytes, you copy it here and so on and so forth. Now the process of course that's gonna start changing the sub keys happens here in the middle, same way that it happened in the previous um, uh, key schedule. Okay, so let me explain that again. So what happens here is the G function is exactly the same as we had it last time. So no change there, it's exactly the same thing. It takes a 32, bit input, which is this arrow here, which is this 32-bit input, is W5. 
that basically is, is the last four bytes of my original key that comes in here and that is the input of the G function. Now the G function, remember what it does, it has some uh, structure inside it, inside it, the X box is there and there is some shift going on in there with the byte. Now remember that, that uh, description in the previous video. Then you produce another 32-bit and you're going to sort that with the first four bytes. So this is a 32-bit, you sort that with this one and that answer, what comes out of there, that's going to be the W6. All right. Now, exactly the same thing is going to happen here for the other one. So what's going to be W7? So W7 is going to come from the sort of this part here, which is W6 and W1. So you take W1 and sort that with W6. You sort those two and you get W7. You repeat the process. You see this process is uh, kind of repetitive here. Here, so let me explain the next one. So for example, uh, where will you get W8? So W8 comes from here, from sort of W2 and W7. And you keep going like this. So this diagram it tells you exactly what you need to do. And of course, it's very similar to the one that we did with 128-bit key. You just have to do it more times. Now, if you remember uh, what we did for 128-bit, we stopped here at W3 here. So this part, this part, these two swords were not there, but you have to add them here because now the key is a little bit longer. So that's exactly what happens there. So this is the uh, the first round of the key schedule. Now, I'm not going to go to very much details of this because this is uh, almost exactly the same as the 128-bit. Now the G function, I'm not going to explain that again because that is already explained over there and it's exactly the same function. So we don't need to look that, at that again. It's exactly the same thing here. Now, if you look at the whole uh, key schedule, and I hope this is not too small for you to see, uh, this is the whole key schedule. We have, we're going to have uh, nine iterations here for the for the uh, key schedule. Now, the nine iterations, every iteration that goes from iteration one through iteration seven, right before this iteration, all of them look exactly like the first one, this one right here. They look exactly the same. So you have the same structure here, the sword, the G comes into this one here, taking the last four bytes here of the previous one that the iteration number two, as I mentioned, is exactly the same. The structure here inside would be exactly the same as this structure right here. The only thing that's going to be different here in this uh, key schedule is the last, the very last iteration. You see it has less sort. So in here we have one, two, three, four, five, six sort. And then here in the last iteration, which is iteration eight, we only have four, one, two, three, four. So we are missing the last two. And there's a reason for that because uh, the sub keys are going to be made out of the W's here. So from W0 all the way through W51, that's what I'm going to get my sub keys from. So uh, in this case, let me say that again. So we have eight iteration. All of them are almost all the, exactly the same except for the very last one which looks like this. Okay, so the, it, this actually, this part here looks like the e, that the part with the 128 bit block, exactly like that one. But the other ones looks like, they look like this. So in this case, what we, what's gonna happen here is, if you wish, the output of the key schedule are gonna be the W. So I'm gonna have W0, W1, W2, all the way through W51. And it follows this this structure right here. That's the structure. All right. So, so again, we're gonna produce fifty-two blocks because the fifty-two blocks of thirty-two bits. Every W here is a is a thirty-two bit block which corresponds to four bytes. So there are produced, and then we're gonna call them W zero, W one, all the way to W fifty-one. So in here, I have fifty-two of those blocks and every one of them is 32-bit. Now once I produce these blocks of 32-bit, 
then I can form my subkeys. And remember, those Ws are are this is the output of this key schedule that we have here with these eight iterations. Now, how are we are we going to produce the subkeys? The the first subkey is going to be the first four thirty two bit blocks. So I'm going to take W zero, W one, W two, and W three. Now, because I every W that is here is a thirty two bit, then I if I have a total of four here, then I'll have four times 32 bits, which is 128. So this is a 128 bit sub key. And remember for the advanced encryption standard, all the sub keys are 128 bits. Now we move to the second uh, sub key. And so I start in the next block of W. So I'm gonna start in W4, W5, W6, and W7. This is gonna be my second sub key. And again, recall again that every W is just 32 bits. So that's why if I take four of them, then I have a 128 bit sub key. And you continue like that. And because we have here 52 blocks, then the last sub key, which is going to be the 13 sub key, because remember the 192 uh, uh, key length will have to produce 13 sub keys. So the last sub key, which is the 13th sub key, will be the last four blocks of W. So it's going to be W48, W49, W50, and W51. And I have again 128 bit sub key here. So that's how you produce the actual uh, sub keys for the 192 original key length for your uh, advanced encryption standard. Now, I know I didn't do any examples here, and the reason for that is because this process will run almost exactly the same as the previous process. The only difference here, again, is that uh, the iterations one through seven, they run a little bit longer in terms of the sort. So you have more sorts, but the structures is very similar to the one we did before. The G function is exactly the same as the previous G function, so that doesn't change at all. The only difference in this iteration, again, is just the very last one that has only four swords. So it's one, two, three, and four. So that's why I'm not going to give you an example, because it's just pretty much repeating what I just did in the last video. So if you're a little bit confused about what I'm, about what I'm saying here, go back to the previous video, watch that part where I actually did an example there. And then you realize that this, this part here is just, just do it more, more times, more swords. That's basically what what we are doing for this key schedule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video now. And in the next video, I'm going to discuss uh, the key schedule for the other key length. Now that key schedule is going to have an extra function and you have the G function here. In that key schedule, we're going to have an extra function there. But the structure again is going to be very similar. So I'll see you in the next video.